Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to This Is War Tales. Imagine Battle Brothers but with better graphics or different graphics depending on how you see the thing. You have a small team of companions and a pony, you have things you can do in the world, you can choose the world to be dynamic or level locked. As you can see I've got it to adaptive exploration which means the enemy will basically be as tough or as weak as I am. The other version is different areas of more power. So the start again probably be level 1, level 3, 4 and so on be that there. And your goal in the game is to get your party out and doing things. And in true Battle Brothers fashion, your characters can die. You have a camp, as you can see here, which obviously we just have a few people. We have like not really much going on. We can move stuff around. We have a pony for gathering materials. We have some basic things. There's not really much we can do. Look, you know, so you can move things around. There's not really much we can do, but they're here. We don't really have any professions. Here we have a range of brute professions. Of course, be stuff like mining, constructing, stuff like that. And obviously there is engagements. Now, there's different groups out on the field. If you're caught stealing, people will hate you. And of course, then you have stolen goods. And all combat is turn-based. Now, the reason I'm talking about War Tales is 1.0 came out a couple of days ago, and I was about to get into this game. So we are going to be either doing a series or a quick one-off. As you can see, we have an archer over there. I have my archer of Lofi down here. I have. I'm going to bring up Frenetic here to front line him. Morthen's going to go over there to stab that guy, and Dragon Man, the two-hander, is going there. So as you can see, they have two stats. They have shield or armor and health. And like I say, then you can move stuff around. So you're going to go straight up to the rear here. Oh, and strike him. Nice. Well done. So when you engage a melee attack on a few enemy, you engage them. Now I can disengage if I want to. But you know, it gets an attack of opportunity. That means the enemy gets to attack me. They can also see down here who's attacking where. So I can see that guy's attacking next. Don't really want him to, but he's going to. So we can just straight up shoot this guy in the back. And then advance to here. Unfortunately, this guy is probably going to be shooting my people in the face. Because let's face it. Aim, game's deafness, yep, yeah. okay. How's he gonna go? Ooh, who's he going for? Let's go for my archer, go for Lofi! Lofi survived, the armor's gone, took a major hit to the face, so you are going to go behind them and stab them in the head. Of course they did turn, we kinda need someone to distract them, but we'll take what we can get. Now of course I'm not going to disengage, although it wouldn't really matter with them, because let's face it, they don't have a melee weapon, I think. And this person's getting pounded. Now, of course, Frenetic is my tanker in this situation. Right now, of course, not really the best, but we're going to taunt him. So we take the hit, a bit of poison, but the shield takes it. And now we're going to hit them again. Because we can't need this guy to die. And there we are. Oh, yes. So the game has been massively changed since the last time I've looked at this. A lot more things have been streamlined. The game's been made a lot better. Uh, only before battles used to take too long. That's no longer the case. They've changed it enough and it's no longer like that. But, you know. It means the enemies are now significantly more tougher in actual combat. So you get less enemies, but they're now more of a significant threat. But outside of that, yeah. A lot of things have changed. And boom. The first team has been wiped. Glory be to the team of me. So we've gained ourselves a damaged dagger, some crowns, some human remains. My arm is damaged with Lofi. Of course, we can repair that with raw materials, which I'm probably going to have to do. So raw materials are how you do stuff. And obviously, Dragon Man has leveled up. Now, obviously, we also don't really want the human remains. They can sort of do stuff with them. We don't really want to. As you can see, there's different things we can also get. Rewards with points. We have no knowledge. We can see here we've got power and glory, trade and craftsmanship. Nothing's really going on there. Crime and chaos, we've got nothing there. And we haven't really learnt anything. So our goal, of course, is to explore the world. Make sure we have supplies. See, our knowledge is going up as we learn new things. We can actually learn stuff to make. There's no suspicion. No one really cares about us. And we haven't really done anything useful. Now, we can talk to anyone we like. So we can talk to this person. We can also, if we really want to... Try and steal things. Now, we're not really the best at stealing, but we could try it. Now, obviously, you can always highlight stuff. See, I'm holding um, Alt down. 
I can loot there. There's someone here. So he has horseshoes that give movement increase. That'd be kind of nice. We could try and steal it from him. But he's, you know, talking to us. That'd be a problem. Yeah, so we could try, you know, steal a horse. Or adopt it for 180 gold. Of which, of course, we do have that kind of money, but we have to pay wages. You have to pay wages, you have to get some troops. I'm not going to steal from there, because there's literally people there. Obviously, you want every single resource you can. There'll be stuff you can mine. We need to get some professions down. We have no miners, we have no blacksmiths, we have nothing useful. And we'd like to have something useful. So you can see the world map right now. We're here. See, so we've got one of 28 places in the starting area. We haven't really done very well. But they want us to buy a pony. Do we want to buy a pony? Probably not. First thing we want to do is go down this road. There was people that way. Go down this road and see what we can find. Now, what we've actually found is Stromcap. But obviously, we're getting more noise as time goes by. See, so we're getting experience for that. That allows us to learn things, like learning how to run, learning how to ration, so troops eat less food. That would be kind of useful. This uh, bonus of material, so we get extra armour points from repair materials. That's uh, blacksmiths and repairing. See, less wages. We can learn these things if we slowly pick stuff up. We can also, obviously, make things. Maybe we want to make a lockpick. Maybe we want to make a pitten or a fish hook. We can do all those things. Of course, right now, I'm going to learn how to... Let's make our troops carry capacity. Let's make our troops cheaper. And there we go. We have learnt that from our knowledge. So the more we learn, the better. We didn't save too much in the way of resources, but we've saved some resources. And now we can have a little look around. Do we want to buy equipment? See? We can select a blacksmith. We don't really have a blacksmith, but I think Frenetic would be a blacksmith. There we go. Frenetic's now a blacksmith. They can now start making things. That would be pretty awesome. We can start building stuff. So Frenetic the Blacksmith is now more important than anyone else. Which is going to be great. He's only a novice, however, but he's there. Obviously, we also have access to the Marketplace, an Apothecary. We don't really have a healer, either. So maybe we need an Alchemist. Maybe that would be absolutely great. Or maybe you could sell him some stuff. What you got? Vials, recipes, a bit expensive, but whatever. We could also try and steal. Not going to. I think we're going to see if there's any jobs available and then got doing some things. You got any jobs for us? Why? You ask, okay. Have your work cut out for you. Okay, you gave us no jobs. So I guess we're just going to go out and fight some things and see how it goes. Okay, this emissary here is offering us an easy job. A group of drunken decide to screw off with refugees. So let's go fight these guys because it's easy. We're going to go fight some drunkards. I would like to obviously do the hard and the average jobs, but they're a little bit tougher. Now there's someone over here who's an informant. They might be able to give us some jobs, as you can see here. That requires a little bit of influence. That could be a problem. But yeah, let's uh, buy. Let's buy this. Yes. So now I have another job that might be useful. We only have four people, because I want to save my resources. Let's go do this job and fight some drunkards, I guess. An actual levelling up, as you can see, I can choose a class level. I can be go Protector of Dragon Man, go Fighter, or Swordmaster. Honestly, I'm thinking we're going to go straight up for Swordmaster for Dragon Man. He's going to be our better Swordmaster, and available equipment is medium. Now, I could have gone for heavier armour, but Dragon Man is not going to be the tank. They are going to be the heavy. So every time you engage in combat, we're going to gain some extra stuff. We're going to slowly keep levelling you up. Make you better and more powerful than you could possibly imagine. But you're going to get a little bit more strength. There we are. More strength. Swordmaster level 2. Well done. Welcome to the team. Please don't leave me for someone else. Now the actual world is amazing, but it is handcrafted. So you won't find randomised things as in Battle Brothers. So you're going to have completely randomised. You're not going to get that. Although you will still get a huge amount of stuff going on. We're in refugees. Oh my god, you look heavily armoured. So there's other things you can do. You can obviously give them money or wine to make them go away. You can attack. You can, of course, do a lot of things. You can just straight up talk to these people. This is a phalanx soldier. This is going to be a tougher fight. But you can approach battles and situations in multiple different ways. As long as you have the resources or the skills to do so. Right now, of course, we do not, in fact, have any wine. 
See that one there? That's the next year to be played. We kind of want him to not be being played, but we'll take it. So straight up, shoot that guy in the back. And then you're going to move to here to keep out the way. There we are. It's all about the tactics. You are going to straight up engage this one in the front. Hammer. Take the hit. Okay, you can take the hit. You've got armor. Yeah, you're going to move up to the rear. Actually, you're going to move down to this guy. Yeah, take out that phalanx soldier. Okay, you're also going to move up and try and engage. We need to kill the support trooper before the only thing else. Cleave. There we are. Okay, Morthen can take the hits. Dragon Man, I need you to wipe him. Okay, who's first? Okay, finish him. Good. Yeah. Okay, move to here. Okay, you want to move up to the back. Going to try and stab him. I think you get more. Surround engage enemy unit two allies to get a bonus. We have bonus. Oh, that was good. Okay. Frenetic's taking the hits, but that means Frenetic's armor needs repairing. So obviously in this game, everything requires some level of what can you do, what can you not do. Now I can take a shot here, but there's a 90% chance you're going to shoot Morthen. You didn't shoot Morthen, I'm amazingly happy. Ooh. Oh, you didn't shoot Morthen! And you've gained the trait glorious, glorious Mofi, glorious Lofi. Take it all, leave the bodies, repair that, and there we go. We've completed a quest. Now we can port to the emissary and get a bit of resources. But there's a mine here. What's in the mine? What do you have? Uh, we can pay. We can persuade. We have the resources. Yes. Okay, so there's iron veins we can pick up. We can just grab resources. Of course, that requires us to have another profession. I think our swordsmaster would be a miner. Okay. So you see that? We're now doing mining. And there's mini games for certain things. Not all the things, but obviously you still want to get everything you can. And there we go. Got experience. We got some iron. Now we could just loot a little bit, but I think he might notice. It's hard to say. But you, keep mining. Easiest time at the beginning, harder as time goes by. Come on, give me everything I need. Missed. Ah, it was rubbish. We'll take six iron. And there we go, we now have iron. I might be able to do something with that. I'm still debating stealing everything. Still genuinely debating stealing everything. But right now, let's go get our resources back. There's a little team over there, looks like peasants. And let's go get our money for doing that quest. I'd like to have more money. And our team just got tired, so now we're going to have to have a little bit of a rest. Obviously, we don't really have much going on, but we have to rest here and there, because obviously our team is just a problem. And there we go. Let's just, let's see, use, uh, what do we want? We need 18 food. There we go. 18 food to rest. There we are. No danger because of where we are. And that's how you rest. As you can see, troops are rested. I've gained extra abilities. All my people are happy. Everyone inside the campfire is happy. We didn't do anything because my team can't do anything. There's not really any options we have right now in the camp. All we could do is sleep. We are the poor. We need to unlock things by being better at life. And we are not. I have gone the wrong way. That's a tower. And with that, our very first quest is done. There we are. We gained money. So even now we're doing well. Now we're actually learning. So I'd like to have some more equipment. I'd like to have some more resources. I'd like to be able to do a lot of things. Right now, of course, there isn't much we can do. For a few crowns, I can polish your armor. Yeah, sure, I'll give you ten. Here we go. Thank you for all the money. I don't know what happened. Renard stole 20 and took off. So now we have to go find Renard, who stole 20 of my gold. You actual sod. Now, we could hire some more people. I think there might be a few more in the tavern. But, of course, I'd like to sell some of my resources off. Not all of them, just some of them. Because, of course, we also have the ability to make things. Not much, but just a little bit. I could also steal from him. That might be interesting. I'm not going to, but I could try. More food would also be nice. But, yeah, right now what we need is to get our gold back. Absolute sod stole our gold. 
One thing you can do is swap out your guys' equipment and it actually changes how they look. You see this? This is their farmer's rags. These are the actual rags I have just made. Basic rags. Because you have to do a little mini game where you hit some heated metal. You get it right, you get critical better. This was vaguely better. Frenetic, however, did just get himself a much better shield. As you can see, it's level 2. Because so I got 3 out of 4 hits correct. So you have a better shield, a little better armour. But you're steadily becoming a more powerful fighting force of rags. It's not the best, I admit. But it's better. And better is better than nothing. And just there is a the guy who stole from me, I think. I can polish it is. You. Okay, I'm going to threaten him and get my money back. And I'm going to leave him to it. I'm not going to kill him. I could have chosen to kill him. I did not. I didn't really want that on my conscience. Yet. Other times might mean other drastic murder methods. Right now, we don't need them. We have some people slowly levelling up. We have multiple different things happening in the world. I could easily start robbing people. I'm not going to, but we could. And we're going to carry on expanding and growing because we need more knowledge. I need to be able to move faster. I need to eat less food. Uh, better training, like better carrying capacity would be great. Cheaper companion recruitment costs because right now I need some influence, which I do not in fact have. So yeah, troops can add objective markers to the map. That would be great. Cannibalism, eating corpses, that would be options. I could also obviously learn better blacksmithing because my guy leveled up so I could get iron studded mace. Better swords. Yes, I'm going to get better armour. So we're going to learn how to make that. We just need the materials to do so. We can become entirely self-sufficient. Just right now, we are a little bit useless. One thing I do like is even in this area I can't see, I can still see caravans moving about in it. This world is living and breathing. Those caravans don't make it. Resources don't get places. See, there's teams of troops out there. There's a merchant on the field. Now, obviously, these are just a random group of soldiers. This, however, is a literally a, mer a merchant, and they are pretty cool. See, I can buy stuff off them. I have chemical residue. Grease. It might be cheaper here. It might not. I could just attack them. It would give me a lot of suspicion, and I don't know if I'd be able to take out the big armoured guy with an axe. That could be a bit of a tough one. But we are, in fact, here to figure out what the hell this is. Hammer for hire. Find a, black find a blacksmith and bring him here. Buy a pony to be eligible for a special offer and destroy the iron veins so that mining can resume. I have done none of these, that's a problem. There's a sinister cave over there. I wonder what makes it sinister. Okay, you're the captain. I assume I need to talk to you. Uh, please tell me. So purple quests appear to just move on the actual quest line of the central area. There is a big central quest. We don't really have to. But you know, yeah sure, I'll do this. This will give me like you know actual reputation for the central quest I'm not doing. Of which, you know, I'm assuming that's going to keep on going. And we're going to go deal with the team in here. Do we kill them? Do we talk to them? Minif, Berthram and Jenith. Uh, you. To think that four years ago. Okay. General. I hate having to strong arm the farmers. But we have no other choice. So they don't really want to do the job. Ah, Mercy. Roman hired you to kill me. I beg of you, don't do Roland is the one who must die. I will once he is gone, the farmers have Oh my god, so they're both accusing each you other. Have to force them to share their resources with us. <sighs> no, let's see. There's already a choice. Do I stand with these guys or to stand with the captain? Now there's suddenly a situation. What the heck do I do now? Which side do I side with? Oh wow, this person at the back here will help none of the refugees because they think all of them are lawless. Oh, decisions! What do I do here? Oh no! So I'm, I'm gonna help Berthram. I'm gonna help Berthram. We're gonna go fight the guys outside who are much more heavily armed because they seem to be blaming all the refugees for the sake of a few. So this is going to be a fight. Foot soldier. Okay, good. So there's three of them, I think. Please don't be a tough battle. Are you going to be a tough battle? You're probably going to be a tough battle. Looks like only one of them's coming in. Are you the angry person at the back? You are the angry person at the back. Okay. So I want you to engage from the rear. Who's first? Don't know. Wait. So Morthen's going first. That's not. That's a problem, actually. Okay, you two go to... That's a trap? What is that? Oh, it's a spear. Okay, bring you there, bring you to there, let's go. 
Okay, so you can get these Valor Points. They are used for your skills, of course. So we're going to straight up engage this one face to face. Smash him down. Okay, let's see. We're going to Deflection. Yes, go for Deflect and then end the turn. You're going to advance to here and engage this guy in the side away from that. Dragon Man, please don't get stabbed. Okay, good. Okay, hold the turn. Valor, every time you kills enemy, gain an extra Valor point. We kind of need that. Okay, Fenetic can take the hits. They are the tank. You're going to move up to here. Shoot that guy in the back. The captain must die because I've made an arbitrary decision. That was a good shot, actually. Okay, you're going to move to here. Uh, pick it up. Throw it, actually. Oh! Then keep on moving. You almost killed the captain in one go. That would have been good. That would have been very good. Oh my god, the captain punched me. Oh no, how will I ever recover? Finish him off. Oh! Oh! Oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Well done, Dragon Man. Okay, they are now completely surrounded. Not much we can do. Smash them. Stab them. Okay, can you hit them without shooting any of my men? He didn't kill Frenetic. Well done, Lofi. I'm proud of you. You just wiped out the local garrison. That could be a problem. Is that a problem? Be sure to tell Fergus and the other refugees in the Haven what you did. Thank you. Okay, the Fed Sultan. So ref refugees no longer have to fear Captain Rovend. Is that a big one? Take the golden key. And also this hemp. Anything else, Glowy? No. So if I remember correctly, from the last time I played this game, two years ago, there is a chest in here. Which I can use the key on. Well, there's another chest somewhere else. There's definitely a chest involving a golden key. So, where the heck was it? Was it here? I think it was somewhere else. We also need to go wipe out that iron so the uh, salt mine can carry on going. But I think we're doing okay so far. Our team's doing great. Fenetic's becoming an absolute powerhouse in close quarters combat. So you are definitely going to be medium armor, medium armor, going to be a destroyer. Yeah, you're going to be full on being a destroyer. You are literally my tank. And you're going to get a little bit more movement so you can keep up. There we go. But you are now, now my powerhouse, Fenetic. Well done. We're getting you some heavier armor. You are not going to go down. Can, is this really not for this? Oh, whatever. And Lofi, you're going to get a new bow. The war bow. There we are. Look at that bow. You are now more glorious and more powerful than you possibly can be. And the amount of people you're killing, you should have leveled up. I'm disappointed in you, Lofi. We all are. Oh, I found a chest. It's just there. Okay, grab the wood. Oh, okay, grab this chest. What have we got? We've gained access to a smuggler's buckler, which is better than the shield I use resources to make. Of course it is. Of course it is. And I guess my archer will be a woodcutter. There you go. So we're learning again. We're learning all the ways of the things and the stuff. Making wood, gathering iron, building a small close-knit team. Of course, we do need a little bit more in the way of influence, because I'd like to get another member to the team on the field. And we'll be doing that as soon as we get back. Because things are going well. We're not dead. I'd like to try and save that, um, that mine I was talking to before. They probably still would like me to, you know, help them. There's a dead person over there. Why is there a dead person over there? Refugee leader wants to meet me in Haven. Okay, so the refugees like me now. I'm assuming that's not a good sign for everyone else because we've caused a slight issue in the area, but I'm assuming that's going to be fine. We've just looted a dead corpse. We've grabbed some resources. There's probably bandits up here on this hill, I imagine. But we're going to carry on and try and get some kind of quests and some more people.